hello friends welcome uh, this is amit and in this video series i'm going to show you how you can make your own website uh, without coding means using a cms uh, we are using drupal for making a website okay uh, for running uh, and installing drupal you need to install xamp uh, just copy the url and reach to the url and then just download the installer of xamp and then install it on uh, the installation is quite easy you uh, need hit on uh, the exe you got and then do next 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 and finish okay now start the uh, server uh, mysql server and apache server okay now first thing is start your browser first of all we need to make uh, we need to download a uh, drupal for that you need to go to drupal dot org and then then just select the go to download and extend and then download the drupal 6 version all the drupal 7 is also there but we are using drupal 6 cause maximum of uh, module uh, were not in drupal 7 and are available for drupal 6 ok now just download Drupal 6 ok Drupal 6.20 this is downloading to my PC now we are may we have to make a database for uh, our site Drupal site for that we need to type 127.0.0.1 slash which is uh, our local host and then type php my admin and then click enter ok now this is our php my admin now you just need to create a database for that put a name for your database i am making the name drupal you can make any name you want then just click on create ok this will create a database ok now wait for the download to finish my internet connection is very slow so that it will take some time its size is uh, approximately about 1 megabyte ok now it's downloaded open the folder and now what you need to do you need to open your web root which is inside xamp and htdocs ok now create a new folder i am i'm giving it name drupal ok now paste your drupal downloaded file it will be in format dot tar dot gz now extract it you need to have an 7 zip for extracting it and then again extract it ok now these are the drupal files ok now delete the previous one now select all and put all in all the files inside the drupal in htdocs folder ok now this is our, our website now we need to uh, uh, open our browser for installing it now just i am closing all the uh, tabs which are open now write 127.0.0.1 slash the name of the folder which is drupal ok now this is our drupal installation page i am just writing i am just locating this folder drupal folder in my browser and then it navigate me to installation page ok now uh, we need to select a language uh, i am just selecting it in on english now in the, at this point we need to create 
a, a copy of setting.php which is inside our installation folder sites default and this setting.php we need to copy it and paste it by hitting control c and control v and then just just rename it to settings.php okay now now go back to browser and then click on try again okay now it finds uh, settings.php the settings.php file is used to storing the configuration database configuration okay now we need to type a name of our database which we already created drupal and the username mine is root and i'm i'm not having any password for my database so i'm leaving it blank and in the advanced option you just leave it as it is all all the default settings were good for us and then click on save and continue um, now the drupal is installing to our server now this is a configuration screen in which we have to give a name for our site okay now I am giving it name happy site or uh, a name uh, I can learn learning or education okay uh, I am giving it name DNA uh, which is it stands for daily news agency okay it seems weird but uh, it hard for me to suggest a name so uh, I'm giving it name DNA okay now the site email address I'm putting here my email address okay now the username for the site admin account I'm giving it name admin and password also admin okay I have to reconfirm my password and it will show us that the strength is low but uh, this is on my local server so uh, I'm choosing a simple one password now this is op option for selecting my time zone by default it's good and uh, the clean URL the clean URL uh, you must uh, leave it enable cause it's good for SEO and and it's also looks nice uh, to have clean URL okay now click on save and continue now uh, this message uh, is shown to me cause I'm running it on my local local PC and not on server so uh, this was showing that SMTP is not uh, in use uh, okay now you can uh, throw it uh, as it is and then click on our new site now this was our default home page for our new Drupal site ok now uh, we will continue in our next video